the problem your career will solve should be your driving force and not the money you make from it most times we allow our minds to be clouded with how much am i making from this thing if somebody brings an idea to you or brings an opportunity to you, you want to know how much i'm making from it you don't even consider what problem is this opportunity going to solve what solution is it bringing to society so hi guys and welcome back to the channel my name is chima and i'm a teens coach if this is your first time here glad to have you please join the family by pinning that red sub button and pinning the notification bell if you're a returning subscriber glad to have you today we'll be talking about four basic steps in choosing the right career if you're ready let's jump right in before we begin let's define the term career Career is simply an occupation that is assumed for a substantial period of a person's life with opportunities for advancement. It's like a lifetime adventure and at different intervals, there's usually a bigger step to take. For example, a teacher. A teacher can progress to becoming a lecturer. From a lecturer, he becomes a doctor and from there, he becomes a professor. I hope that is clear. Now, let's move on to the four steps that can help you choose the right career. The first step is to discover yourself. What do you love? What do you hate? What in society bothers you the most? What is it that happens around you that gives you the most pleasure or that gives you the most displeasure? What subjects in the school interest you the most? And what memories from childhood have remained indelible? For example, if you're the kind of person that you hate to see children sick, if you see a sick child, you feel like you can just carry the child on your arms and then the child will become whole. That could be your cue to choose a career in pediatrics. The second step is to make a list of different jobs that align with your passion. Then you make your research on these jobs to see what and what is required to succeed in those jobs. You check from the base to the pick of those jobs. What kind of skills do you need? What kind of courses will you have to study in school? What kind of subjects do you need to take seriously? What kind of exams will you have to write? And then after making a list of these jobs and what is required for each one, you compare each one with your competence level with your endurance level and with your passion to know which one actually suits you the most. Like the example we used earlier about loving children and wanting them to be healed and free of diseases. You can make a list of different job roles that pertain to taking care of children. Then for those different job roles, you, you do your research and find out what is needed to succeed from the base of those job roles to the peak. And then check for those requirements, compare it with your strengths. Compare it with your endurance level, compare it with your level of competence, which one suits you the most, which one can you tackle easily, and which one do you know you succeed. I did not mention checking the income level, the money you can make from because if you're serious with any job role, you can always make money from it. So money is not the primary thing. The primary thing is your passion and your competence level and what is required for each job. Number three step is to choose an action plan. Now that you've seen the requirements for each job role and you have chosen the job role that best suits you, what you need to do now is to create an action plan on how to actually succeed in that career path. Say you have chosen to be a pediatrician, for example. At what stage in that career path are you in now? Are you still in secondary school or you're already in the university? If you're still in secondary school, these are those actions that you take now. But probably you have to first graduate very well from secondary school with good grades. Then you need to get admission into the right university. You probably need to look for, do your research on successful pediatricians like globally and know their success story. So think of different things you can do now to prepare yourself to get to that level. Maybe you're already out of secondary school, okay, and you're no longer going to school, but you're yet to get admission to the university. This might be a good time to attend extramural class so your brain can remain smart and agile, ready to write any exams in the future, okay? So write an action plan. Do you need to meet people in that field that are ahead of you to know what and what to expect and what and what you need to do to succeed? Do you need to write any particular exam now? Go through your research about that job role again and write out an action plan that will position you on the right career path that you have chosen for yourself. Tip number four and the last one I have for you today is to start acting on your plan. It's not enough to write those plans. I mean, you've written the plans, but who will do it for you? It's still you. So start acting on that plan. What's the first one on your list? Is it a reading plan? Do you write there that you need to draft a reading timetable to help you read more and read better? Then start working on it. Is it to attend an extra moral class? Then you register for it. Is it to register for a particular exam or write a particular external exam? then get on with it is it to meet somebody maybe to have a meeting with a professional in that field 
then get on with it what is it on your list of actions to take start acting on them right now before i wrap up this video i like to leave you with a few of these tips the first one is to learn digital skills alongside as you do your academic work as you pursue your career try to acquire digital skills like content marketing graphics design programming and what have you depending on what interests you most don't just stick to reading your books alone and you know doing the regulars that everybody's you know that we are in the digital age now and people that are going to strive that are going to thrive in the globe right now are those that have digital skills so find a digital skill that interests you and learn it and master it as you journey on this career path that you have chosen also you must remember that no career is inferior to the other a doctor is not better than an engineer okay focus on being the best in your career and don't feel intimidated by any other person's career next is the problem your career will solve should be your driving force and not the money you make from it most times we allow our minds to be clouded with how much am i making from this thing if somebody brings an idea to you or brings an opportunity to you, you want to know how much i'm making from it you don't even consider that what problem is this opportunity going to solve what solution is it bringing to society so focus on the solutions your career is going to offer and not just on the money like i said earlier no matter the career you've chosen you can make money from it you can become wealthy from it you just need to give it the diligence that it demands a few moments later a few inches later two hours later one eternity later so before we call it a wrap in this video, I want to recommend a book. This book, okay? This book is The Career Guide by DC Chukwani. Okay, so why I recommend this book? This book is going to help you in your search for the right career, okay? Everything we've talked about in this video and more, you will find in this book. I like the book because it's really simple to understand and it addresses a lot of important issues. So from the beginning, you will have... Um, what do I want in life? You have topics that will help you to discover who you are, discover yourself and your potentials. What are my natural abilities? What is my personality? And there's also a section that will now show you exactly how to choose the right career after discovering you know, your personality and what you need for a successful career and also how to plan for success. So the different steps you need to now take and how to set your SMART goals to in order to succeed in the career that you have chosen for yourself. So I highly recommend this book. Now, if you're in Nigeria, you can get this book free of charge, only that you have to pay for the delivery fee because this book is only available in, or should I say physically available in Enugu State, Nigeria. So if you're interested and you should be interested especially if you're a teenager watching this video and you're yet to write the examination that will help you get admission to the university you should definitely go for this book it can help you to you know understand your personality and choose the career that best suits your personality that will direct you on the subjects to write in your um jam you know, and all those other external examinations and the course to choose in school so just comment that you need this book okay and then i'll take it up from there so if you're you know in if you're in nigeria like i said earlier the book right now is free. It's being given to teenagers for free. Somebody has already paid for a good number of copies to be given to teenagers for free. It's just that if you're not in Enugu State, you have to pay for delivery. And if you're in Porta Court, you can get it even without delivery. <laughs> you can get it even without paying for delivery. So I highly recommend this book. So you can order it by yourself from DC Chukwani or or you tell me in the comments that you need a copy of this book and I will see how I'll get it across to you. With that, we have come to the end of this video and I do hope that these four steps and the bonus tips that I've shared will help you to identify the right career for you and start making the right moves. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. Also like this video so that other people can get to watch and learn from what we have discussed here today. If you're yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? do subscribe to the channel now remember that the actions you take now will determine if you have a successful career i encourage you to watch this video to identify some bad habits that you need to get rid of let's derail you from taking the right steps in succeeding in the career you have chosen today i'll see you at the next video take care